Radio, Voice of the Voiceless. Sports Bar. Ericsson, Garnacho hasn't stopped. Garnacho has scored in stoppage time. And Manchester United have nicked it. For updates in the world of football. Sterling for Liverpool. He's seen Henderson face to face with the Fernandinho. Henderson! Oh, wow! Lift the Anfield roof. Company's error, yes! Formula One. There, Imkis down the inside now comes Carlos Sainz on Lewis Hamilton. Sainz just squeezes Hamilton, who goes over the rumble strip. Cycling, boxing. Basketball and lots more. Listen to us live on Sport Rush, Mondays to Fridays, 12 30 pm to 1 pm on Al Iyamoye TV Radio. For more inquiries, please call 006 242 9799. Sport Rush, your everyday dose of sports. Everyone, welcome to Sports Vow this new morning and new week on Al Iyamo TV Radio. We'll give you the updates on sports news all over the world today. And I am Yazid Sawi. I'm sure Wally Moshe is sending this post. Good morning. Okay, finally starting with where we ended it uh, last week on Chelsea Liverpool. Uh dragging Moises Caicedo and eventually it fell into the blues. Ah, Moises Caicedo has eventually gotten to the blues with a world record fee of 115 million pounds it shows to bully is a uh, is a uh, man enough to take on which is said of going as you said uh, when we were discussing outside the program where you said to bully and uh is uh, a company oh yeah went both went for Moses Caicedo and told others that are in charge to stay with the smaller uh, cases <laughs> and let them go face <laughs> the bigger one at front and eventually they came out victorious with Moises Caicedo due to the fact that Moises Caicedo interest was in Chelsea initially. That's why Chelsea were able to uh, be the one who got Moises Caicedo. But uh, you see, uh, people are now saying with the hype on Moises Caicedo, with the hype on Moises Caicedo, what will it become when it is eventually on the pitch? Actually, uh, it's very surprising that uh, Chelsea eventually won the way. I'm just surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone will be happy that Chelsea eventually signed uh, uh, Moses Caicedo. I think uh, we can't remember from the fact that if you look at the match uh, between both sides yesterday, you see what is lacking between both sides. You see both sides lack the number six or the midfielder. Both sides. And it's very it's a tough sub to uh, to bowl in and a bali. Oh, that is what. Sorry, you said a old midfielder or a defensive midfielder. There's a big thing called the no. If you said that when, when, when you say when you say the player is number six, I'm not going to remember. This wait, is not wait, number. it's not about number. When you talk, the player is number six on the pitch, on the field of play. It, it can be holding the holding midfielder. When you talk about holding midfielder, same thing as defensive midfielder. You can't you can't say a holding midfielder is central midfielder. No. It's central midfielder. In football times, in, 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 in football times, a defensive midfielder is an holding midfielder as well. When you talk about defensive. A person is in front of the defense, mm -hmm. securing the, uh, the defense from breaking uh, from ball breaking down to the defense. Mm -hmm. But all the midfielders, right? he holds the midfield, getting order to play to play uh, to, 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 to play forward. Mm -hmm. so, it's, it's very very unfortunate that it's uh, very, 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 uh, unfortunate for Liverpool and uh, happy new uh, good news for uh, yes. Chelsea fans out there. But to be sincere, if you look at most guys, I do our uh, style of play very well. You see, you see, uh, yesterday he will fit into both sides. If if if, if Liverpool if don't sign him, he will fit into Liverpool style of play perfectly. If Chelsea sign him as well, he will fit into Chelsea style of play perfectly. Okay. All the Lord is a player decision. I yeah. said he want to go to Chelsea. Chelsea, and it's very very profitable deal for oh, Brighton right. because in the first instance said they want eighty million pounds for this guy, and at the end of the day, Chelsea failed to bring the offer before the clients did. Yeah. and I said they want to sell this guy for hundred million pounds. And at the end of the day, Chelsea, I think it, it, it was uh, to bully and uh, a value should have done Same. before this. They should have come into the because the sporting director that they have is not possible for them 
it's not possible for you to send me another man now as, as a boss. And they said, this city is 20 naira. And I bought it for 20 naira. I need to price. We need to bargain on it. Correct this amount of price. Correct this amount, amount, amount of money. But it's now in it, terms of a good work for Mbali. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday, when uh, Mbali uh, was going to uh, start up with this thing, if I asked him, I will see Gasaido. He said, we are trying. We are trying. Not knowing that it was I to be after the level game that would be angry. 150 million pounds is very much amount of money. Too much. Too much. Too much on the holding me for that box. If you look at the player, what he can over Chelsea, there might not be a lot of pressure on him. Likewise, there are no pressures on the client as well in terms of price. Because if you look at Enzo Fernandez, 106 million pounds. Nobody has been talking about Enzo Fernandez. Uh, yeah, he has not been scoring or this much, but he has, he has been giving Chelsea what they want in the, in, in the middle, of, middle of the park. So Chelsea don't bring Casado in to come and score. They bring him in to come and be a defender. And Chelsea have been very lucky when they bring in defensive media. It is black. They have been very lucky. In the likes of um, 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 Makelele, Claude Makelele, Michael Eisen, John Michelobi, Ramirez. They've been very, very fortunate bringing in black defensive media. Very, very good day for Chelsea. And I think Chelsea uh, will be able to surprise most teams. But I said, I said something on, on Friday. If Liverpool eventually sign this guy, I give them the league. Really? Because I give them the league because you look at Sobos Lai and Makare Saleh yesterday, how both of them play. They only need a, a holding me for the defensive midfield to so yeah. be at the back and let two, the two players roam about. So it's very good day for Chelsea. Congratulations to all Chelsea fans out there. I uh, say, uh, in Yoruba, I don't want to say in Yoruba. And what money, whatever money does, I don't do. I think nothing will not move at all. Chelsea, they eventually spend the money. Obvious. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, well, you see, also, I'm sure you're very, very excited. It's a two question. Okay. I want to ask, you, know, <laughs> you ask a question, are we talking about Moses Castedo or are we talking about Chelsea against Liverpool? Yeah. No. Which of which of it are we I discussing? Bring it. I no, I'm not. I'm not coming to you. I don't want. I I also, I want to be because if we should start this now, we won't end it. If we are to talk about last, yesterday's match, match yeah. we won't end this. We will not go even go to another topic uh, of the day. So if we had to talk about just Moses Casado, we will talk about Moses Casado. If we had to talk about Chelsea against yeah. Liverpool, the way they performed yesterday, we had to bring him. You that. know what? There's no. There's no. You want to talk about Moses Casado that you don't have Liverpool. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm not no, talking, that's what no, I said. If no, I want to talk about Moses Casado playing in Chelsea, Chelsea signing him now, will it be a perfect match to Chelsea? I will talk about. We will talk about that. If I talk about yesterday performance, no, I'm not talking about yesterday performance. No, I was only. I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking okay. him like, if, are we to talk about it or are we to come back there? Because yesterday match, you know, we are to talk about it. We will talk about oh, the oh, likes of the Sassy. Right, we will talk yeah. about the likes of sure, uh, sure. Fernandez. Yeah, what he has done yeah, yesterday, yeah. Uh, Jackson. So, but we're talking about the individual player, what they did yesterday, the way they performed. So, both Lai and McAllister, did they, the way, do they play the way they expected of them? So, we need to talk about that. But that's what I'm asking. Are we talking about Moses Casado here? Or we're talking about Chelsea against Liverpool? Oh, we're still talking about Moses Casado. Get back to Chelsea. You know, I, I literally said it. You know, it maybe was maybe two or three uh, programs back when the two of you were laughing at Chelsea. Again, my, like when Liverpool has signed, hey, they have agreed okay, to the deal of Moses Casado, so he's moving to Liverpool. That was on like, Friday. That was on Friday. Friday so yeah. the two of you were laughing. I was like, oh, you know, I, I, I like Chelsea. I want Chelsea to get Moses Casado, and Liverpool eventually come for it. You know, it's not an issue, but eventually, unfortunately, just because you said it earlier on, the player Moses Casado love to be in Chelsea. He has said it publicly. He said it. In, it was even interviewed, which they went for maybe a seminar or so. Which they, 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 they asked him. He said, "I, I want to be in Chelsea." He said it there. So people were like going to Chelsea. A lot of things are happening. Moving, they started doing a lot of things. Chelsea fans started doing a lot of that. Because Chelsea is coming, coming having a song, a different thing that is coming. To Chelsea. Eventually, Liverpool came in. So to boot, and he said it publicly. I want. I'm not going to Liverpool. I want Chelsea. So that prompts to bully, like, oh, you want, I don't mean, the day Liverpool agreed to the deal, he would have traveled immediately, but just have to call him, wait, we need to you do know, something. You know, he's, he's even in London. He's even in London. He has traveled to London so, with his agent. So he, he, he may want there to do a lot, but when Liverpool said they want to sign him, eventually he can 
actually leave and go to. Um, See, I, it's a slap on the club. I don't understand. No, you, you know, uh, the, the club has already closed. He, all, and he, press and he said call. it on press conference. They did the press conference by 10 a.m. Yes. So he didn't know Chelsea would eventually hijack yeah. the deal yeah. for me. So if he said it, we are, we are, we are expecting Moses Casado at yeah. Liverpool, at Anfield, of which the body was just, you know, they were just sitting like smiling. Smiling like, you oh, are just being deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> Who is deceiving you? Eventually, it comes something back. And the uh, body said, okay, Paul Winston, you need to sit back, go for Lavia, go for Olise, go for the rest of the player, leave me. And they traveled to Brighton to talk and discuss with Tony. Like, okay, what are we doing to this? They, 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 they agreed to the deal. Like the, to the, they did not want to announce most guys so because the deal has not been it has not been you know, it has been agreed. You know, but Liverpool now was also on the field. What they were doing because, because he also he also traveled to Chelsea before the match to and, sit and with Tony. What Tordoni. I get to know yesterday is that I think both of them have a meeting. And yes, he, he came because before the match. Yeah. He came before the match to have a, to have a, 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 a conclusion. I beg guy now. He came before the match to talk to Todbon like, okay, if you are to get Mr. Kassel, leave Lavia. 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 So you can't leave Avla. <laughs> and Todboni were like, they, Todboni were like, I want to get the two Two-way. player because you were on Lavia. Because Chelsea went for Lavia, he came for well, Kassel. I would love Chelsea not to go for Lavia. Why? Because if Chelsea really want to go for Lavia, it means uh, Nogala need to leave the team. Of course, he will. Wait, Nogala need to leave the team. And you know, Lavia is, uh, is, is very good at, at the at defensive league. Uh, as well. And if you look at this guy yesterday, when Gatlari was brought in yesterday, I could imagine what Lavia can do better than the guy. And uh, Ugochuku. Look at the last ball that the guy drew from Chelsea half to Liverpool midfield. And if you look at if, 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 uh, today box, it's even more than the midfield. It's not more than the box. 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 No box. If you look at the uh, the guy, uh, how he played at Lens, how, how the guy played very well, you will see even he, he has he have so many attributes compared to uh, Romelu Lavia. How old is he? Actually, he's his same age. They are same age, yeah. So I, I would love just to look for another, another, another attack because if you look at, it, I don't want to go 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 to that, but maybe maybe we'll get to that game. We can, yeah. we can, we, we can. Well, we can they, they just got to Melavia because of Liverpool. They don't want to Melavia yeah, they, because they, of they, Liverpool. They, they don't want. It's not yeah. better for a player to come to team and sit down. You are talking about Melavia coming to sit. Even if they literally come to Chelsea, he might sit. He might sit and he may not. The reason why I said so is the formation will change, okay. and it will change into another thing. Like if you were to use, it would be like you have options. Like look at Manchester. If you bring in some player, we're like oh, uh, one dead player out, another dead player. I know we're going to we're going to yeah, but Chelsea yeah. match. We so let's just good. move on with that. So I think Chelsea had a good option of signing. Brighton got the best. Okay, let's take a yes, short break from here. When we get back from the break, I will continue on the recap on all matches that went on. During the weekend, do stay with us. Thank you. Bugwa la fe tu bayi, tu fe wo shoyi, shoge tu pagba mu, nun kojalo si. House of Ziana. House of Ziana, the name I know when we talk of top-notch fashion, quality materials and class. House of Ziana, let him out, Rojulo will talk you with Egypt and Malaysia clothing, Dubai, I want designer bags, no rishi rishi, I want it to let batter, so you not want for what, original she, I want go kajo, ton kawaka to your jaw, designer sunglasses and perfumes, but you want to go bong kan, so be real, see, kofi, ba fe look ba, ha, modebe, ojo min she, kami, 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 e mini o ra, e mini o mu, go go enye musulu, mi e lesin, se e go ge, go pa fashion se wa ni lo jalabia ijab ati abaya lori shirishi house of ziana leo tiri gogo era house of ziana uwa ne 52 olon un shogo ro aja saint redeem church agape parish olon un shogo abe okuta lori instagram house of ziana 081 house of ziana ile itaja ta ati nto julo wa shok ati nkwa shara lo geti nbeni ni yi Thousands have been disappointed severely in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. To those who work in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case at Tau South Travels and Tour. We have in-depth details on how to successfully, without stress, help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world. Do you want permanent residential visa, visiting and tourism visa, student visa to places like Europe, America, Asia, Africa? It's no big deal to us at Tau South Travels and Tour. Our years of experience and expertise speaks very volume for us. Let's process and secure visa for you to UK, USA and Canada within 
a twinkle of an eye. We offer Aj and Umrah services to our Muslim faithfuls. What are you waiting for? Consult us at number 9, Tau South Central Mall, Sholanke Street, behind Laroy Hotel, Abiola Way, Abiola. 0802-733-0900 or 0806-578-4060. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Tau South Travels and... <laughs> Back to sport via on at Iyamori TV and radio. Okay, you're on recap of the match that went on uh, during the weekend. We saw at uh, the German Super Cup, the Ari Kane, people expected him to at least uh, end his first trophy with the team where Leipzig Omo uh, <laughs> scored an hat trick against uh, Bayern Munich. And we we're talking uh, when we were, the, we were seeing the match, uh, me and uh, my friends were talking on Omo, saying he was saying Omo is meant to be eyed by many teams, that Omo is a very, very wonderful player. What do you say to you? I think uh, I will uh, we'll get a lot of, a lot of money on uh, Danny Danny Omo. Omo because uh, this guy is very good attacking midfielder and he can, he can, he can score you, he can do anything, he has magic. I, I don't even expect uh, Abel Lezbeck to win the match. Because I said this on Friday, uh, it was on Saturday, I said yes. Abel Lezbeck uh, lost uh, like three players, three key players, so most like they lost uh, all the team Kuku, Kuku. and they lost uh, all the uh, Kuku. 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 So I was like, how would they be able to handle Bam. Bam make with the, with the likes of our uh, uh, King, who I don't even think he should have, should have, should have, should have uh, come on, on the game because he, hasn't, he doesn't have any impact in the game. I don't think the well, coach would be panic to put a player in the team. He has not trained with his team at all. So I don't really see a reason why he will start. And I think the problem with Bayern Munich will still continue if Thomas Tuku has not rectified what really fits in a lot. The issue. Thomas Tuku is not a kind of coach that loves. Recently, there's a lot of blocks playing with our uh, 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 four at the back. What we know Thomas Tuku for at Chelsea is using three at the back. With that, he'll be able to exploit his player very well. But he's trying to, you know, when you say when you're in Rome, you build up your mania. He's trying to adapt to what Bayern Munich, the history of Bayern Munich, how they, how they play. But this is your work. If you don't do it well, they will sack you. So he needs to put in finishing touch. They, 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 they start after that. They start from where they stopped just uh, last season. Because now it has not been fruitful for Bayern Munich. They have talent in that squad, and I don't really see the reason why Bayern Munich sat uh, during uh, Nagelsmann. Nah, I don't see the reason why they sat this guy. So far, so good. Thomas Tuchel has not improved Bayern Munich. Don't forget they bring in Kimmichan. They bring in Harry Kane. I don't know players like that. How many players leave the team? Only Sadio Mane. Someone said uh, they really missing Sadio Mane. I said no. What was Sadio Mane impact Back last season at Bayern Munich? Nothing. So all fault should be from Thomas Tuchel itself. You requested for a striker, they give you. You requested for a defender, they gave it to you. Although they don't, they don't have a, a very good goalkeeper, but at the end of the day, you should have, should have cried. What you should have cried for is what you are crying for at the last stage. You should have cried for a goalkeeper. You don't know no, he's injured. You've released your uh, young Zuma Zuma. without even having any replacements. At all. That's his, that's his, that's, I, I don't know, I don't know. He, he needs to revert back to three at the back and look for what is very good. Is that like Anthony Conti? When Anthony Conti sees that he's three at the back, he's now getting getting tired. Because nowadays, if you want to use three at the back, is that you use three at the back in the, in the attacking formation? And I'm using three at the back in the defensive formation because the formation as well, it has died. Look at Chelsea, they just used three at the back yesterday and it was fully in attacking, at, 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 attacking formats. Master, is, Master still used it last season. It was in an attacking, for, attacking style. Liverpool has now used it use against uh, Nottingham okay, Forest. Forest. It was in an attacking style. Why will you, will, you, will you be a coach that will be stagnant with one formation? I think it's, very, it's called for to, to, to look at how uh, Thomas Tuchel will perform very well for Bayern Munich this season. I doubt, I doubt it. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sandy. What I would just say to this, I won't say much, but what I know is this um, Thomas Tuchel won't last long at Bayern Munich. It won't last long because what we expected of him is not what we are seeing. Julian Nagasman even did more than this. And it's something. So Thomas Tuchel has been given, by, you know, Bayern Munich, that we all know. 
from the first when they start a season, before they got to the middle of season, before they got to the middle of season, the they won the league. You know, Paris would have like thirty or like fifteen to twenty points ahead of the second. The second so look at what they're doing. That, I, don't, I don't even believe Abi Lebze can defeat Paris. I don't even expect that. So to Danny Omo, he's a very good player. I I, I watched the guy in, in, in at Spain, when he, he at national team. That's why I see this guy like. I don't even watch much about him at Alvin Leipzig, but I saw this guy at Spain. I think there was maybe it was World Cup, last World Cup of Delba. The guy was so superb. I was like, he, 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 his footwork, his pace, he dribbles, he knows how to score goals. So I see that anymore. I don't even think he will still be at Leipzig this summer. I thought they, they, they would go for him, like to get him to another thing. You know, Alvin Leipzig will not I was like, like three players. They don't know if you take him to the next season. And now Ujamata And now Ujamata, Ujamata well. like writing as they're doing for for it's both teams. Just sign a new deal with Abu. Uh, I can see that. So I think you know, Thomas Tuchu is not a good coach for Bayern Munich, or he should just convert to his own style of play at Bayern Munich. Okay, I uh, recap on the matches that went on during the weekend. Uh, Saturday, Arsenal played two one against Nottingham Forest. Bournemouth West Ham won one. Brighton against Luton Town. The new uh, come as into the Premier League and now being showed what Premier League looks like where Brighton defeated them 4-1 Everton against Fulham where Fulham uh, defeated Everton 1-0 also all the teams that came from the championship they all defeated at uh, this first APL uh, Sheffield United was also defeated by Crystal Palace one and Newcastle uh, as ah, Tonali new <laughs> signing for Newcastle who has scored the opening goal for Newcastle via Isaac and Callum Wiss and also Barnes made an assist and a goal. A new, also a new signing for Newcastle won against Aston Villa 5 1. Even Musa Diaby, a new signing for Aston Villa, also scored a goal. And yesterday between Brentford and Tottenham, which was a very tough match where they played 2 2. And as I expected, Chelsea Liverpool was always a draw as I expected them to have played. And eventually it ended uh, in a draw with also the new signing for Chelsea, Exil the Sassi scoring a uh, goal for Chelsea and also Liverpool. Luis Diaz, and we talked about Luis Diaz in preseason. He was a very wonderful, wonderful player, and he eventually showed that immediately he entered into the season. And the Bundesliga will start next week, Friday. And then La Liga, uh, the day before yesterday, we were decided against Girona, 1 1, Las Palmas against Maloca, 1 1, and Real Madrid against Athletic Club, 2 0, and also Celta Vigo yesterday against Osasuna, where they were defeated 2 0. Villarreal was also defeated by Real Batiste, 2 1. And Barcelona against Getafe 0 0. Let's start from here. Barcelona against Getafe. We saw a number of red cards in the match. Three red cards again between Barcelona and Getafe, where Jamie Mata got the red card for Getafe and also Rafinha from Barcelona and Xavi also from Barcelona. But we see to how the match ended. It, it, it's a really frustrating. It, has a, mm -hmm. it, 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 was, it was a frustrating uh, match for uh, a Barcelona uh, player and their coach. And I know. Inside me, it will be a frustrating and sad match for Barcelona fans out there because nobody will respect Getafe to have a draw against Barcelona. Yes. Everybody thought the first game Barcelona will be able to as a defending champion, they will be able to as an as a run on Getafe. Getafe. But reverse is the case, and I think uh, that, that that is where uh, that's where uh, uh, some analysts need to look at this team. How are we going to move forward? I will tell you, this is when. Usman Dembele will have look for a moment of magic whereby he will smart a even though a long break shot that will have uh, undergone inside the net. You know, say Barcelona, uh, they lack shots sometimes. And look at uh, uh, Lewandowski. He, he, he was struck in the forward. Black Sardis. And look at look, 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 look at Barcelona's setup yesterday. They have Frank de Jong, Ori Romeo, and they have Gunnogan in the middle of the park. And whereby it's our, uh, I think Pedro needs to play from the front. Yeah. That's where the problem lies. Where is the creativity? Will the war work not be on Rafinha alone? No. Rafinha cannot do it all alone. This is where they need to introduce Nassimani Fati. Let Xavi decide who to start between Ike Godogan and Ori Romeo. I think you want to start Ori Romeo and Ike Godogan together, and we will say from the jumps down seat, it is not possible. So it's not depend. It should not depend on uh, how it's going to because the issue now is between Oro Romeo and Ikai Godogan. And I would have loved 
he can go down to start. I don't know. Some some matches that we we, we require, or you know, you know, in, in second half, they need to send our uh, Frank Dunk back to right. the center back. Uh, they substitute our uh, Mr. Insane. The creativity is not there. The creativity is not there for Barcelona. I think this is where as a fans should have come in and give our Barcelona what they really want in terms of creativity. If, because if they have as a fans, they left hand side. The defenders will be focused on two or three players, not on one player. I think got frustrated yesterday. It got frustrated. And every time it was up in the left card. So I think Barcelona need a lot of they still need the creativity in the team in order for them to be able to at least win games. Because this is in it's not a joke for any team. It's not a joke for anything. Now where my did are ahead of them. Two points. This is where it started. They, it's not my business as usual that uh, one team will be leading for four or five matches there and they will still come down. No. You start your journey with a crew to win. Thank you very much, Um, You know, you've said it all of, of what you said. Don't miss this man and Billy. No doubt sure. about that. You will miss that. Hey, but we talk about Rubio and Ikigodogon. Yesterday, Ori Romeo was used and uh, Frank de Jong was used uh, as CDM, as a center, as oh, sorry, as DM. Yesterday, the defensive midfielder, he was, so he used God of God as an attacking midfielder. That was how he used the formation yesterday. But to come, you know, God of God cannot play as defensive midfielder. He can play as a center, but Ori Romeo can still defend when it comes to a, a struggle, when it comes to that. Romeo can still do all that. So that's why you used the two players together. It was like, okay, Rodrigo should move. Why well, Rodrigo should move back from the team? So, he, 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 but to, to that of um, Xavi having a red card, you know, he was a bit frustrated. You know, there is a rule now. Immediately, you maybe you drag or you shout at the front Both official or the referee, you be given a card so. straight up. So that was what he did yesterday, which he had, a, and it will affect them in the next match. Because when he was there, when he's on the pitch, he normally talked to them. Shouts, a did that, but unfortunately, it won't be available for the next Thanks. match, so it will affect Barcelona team. When they are having that at the, uh, at the beginning of the season, they will have an actually have a problem before getting to where they are going. So, I think Barcelona should just try and fight soon. Maybe they should have just, they should just do something to that so that they will, it won't affect them that much. Now, what I said, it affects the growth of uh, Gavi. Gavi, of course. Yeah. It, Yes. And it has affected Pedri. Of course, Pedri needs to move to uh, rest, left hand side. Yes. This is where the problem lies. Okay, uh, the match coming up uh, today in the La Liga Cadiz against uh, Alves and Atletico Madrid against Granada. And in the EPL, we have Manchester United oh, against Wolves. Those quick predictions, the uh, time is on by on time. I, I think Manchester United will uh, win the uh, match because if you look at uh, what we've done, we've lost a lot of players. Minutes. Same thing. Uh, they have a poster. Same thing. So they, they love so many players in the team. They're not bringing new players. That's the reason why uh, their coach are doing that. Putting the yes. and it was made, 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 made design. But all in all, you can't remove a wolves out of the Wagner Wanderers. They will still continue to be a wolves. They, will, they only give Manchester United a, 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 a tough problem, time. a tough time. But I I, I see Manchester United winning the game, slight win because if you see most most big 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 teams uh, uh, the, uh, in, in the opening game of the EPL they struggle in other aside from uh, Manchester City that that, that win you don't even have convincing win for Manchester City but they won at the, the, the yeah. three nil. But I see Manchester United winning as well. What's the prediction? I also see Manchester United winning. I also see Manchester United winning as well. My two goes to me. Okay, two zero. Yes. Yeah. That's my prediction. Manchester <laughs> United Wolves to the okay. We've come to the end of sports by today on Ali Yamin TV and radio. Don't forget to like, follow, share, and comment on our programs on uh, Facebook and all of the social medias. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I remain here. This is our I'm sure the machine does send this sports. I remain Brian. Call me there. Tell you, I'm good. Bye. Bye.